Hi, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at three of these tapping blocks, the Striker Extra Large Bullet, the uh, Crane, and just the traditional tapping block, ain't even got a name on it. We're gonna talk about which one of these is best. The Striker Triple X is the best. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, FBSB is out. No, I'm just kidding. So um, we wanna just discuss which one of these are best and for what. So right now we are doing some 3 8 nail down wood. And uh, rather than taking my tapper and tapping this one, or this one actually kind of works basically like that one does. You can put it like that and tap it together. However, you can see it didn't, even, it didn't get it in there. This has got the big bulky handle on it, the big bulky. It's actually got a little bit of weight. I can't remember. It seems like it's about two pounds or something like that. It's got a little bit of a weight to it. So you can take that over there. One hit, this end is in. One hit, that's in. It's ready to, oops, knock it out a little bit there. Now this is ready to be nailed. Two hits with the striker. Okay, let's take a look at uh, this other one right here. <coughs> Typically, this is actually made to use with a hammer, but we've just been using it like that. So you see about four or five hits it took to get that one in right there. It's ready to be nailed. Okay, now let's check out the crane. However, with the crane, you do have to use a hammer to tap it because you just can't get enough leverage because it is a smaller tapping block. I want to use a full one right here. Uh, well, the wood went it together so well, it already went together. You grab a different piece. Okay, well, anyway, that one went together really easy to fix. Um, the thing about this 3 8 hardwood right here, because you got this slip right here, what will happen a lot of times if that gets up on the finish right there, if it gets uh, right up on it right here, instead of down on the lip like that, a lot of times it'll bust that finish up right there. You'll have a white spot where the finish tries to come off of it. So on this particular wood, I had been turning it around that way and using the flat side dough so that it don't ride up on my lip. However, on LVP and stuff like that, this little bitty lip is good where this don't have one. But this, I have not used it on LVP yet, so I can't say yay or nay about that. But for wood, it is definitely awesome. And like I said, with the smaller crane one, you do have to use a hammer to tap it in. This big extra large striker. Got enough weight to just uh, knock it in there all by itself. Plus, another thing I really like about this, because I have issues with my palm and stuff like that from all the time crawling around, this actually gives me something when I'm crawling from one end to the other. I'm able to use this tapper just like that, and it definitely helps support my wrist and stuff like that. I don't know if anybody said anything about that or not, but it definitely helps out having a handle to hold on and crawl like that rather than having your palm flat on the floor. So that's just another awesome benefit of the striker. It is definitely big and heavy. Look at the name of it right there. Big, heavy, bulky. And um, I'm thinking, like I said, I haven't done any OVP yet, which it clicks in. But as high as this is, I'm thinking uh, how you have to have your LVP at an angle like that sometimes to click it in. I think it's going to be high enough to get it at an angle like so and still hit it and click it in. We'll see. When I do an LVP job, I will definitely check that out and talk further about this. So uh, I didn't get a good view of the name a second ago, so there we are. So this is definitely uh, it's kind of underneath there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there you go. It's definitely better... For the hardwood, this striker is by all means. Okay, um, until next time, thank you for tuning in. FBSB is out.